today's video, we're gonna look at sprinklers, but not just the regular ones that you use in your lawn. These things are massive. They're super tall, giant sprinklers that can solve a lot of problems in your yard or your landscaping. And I'm gonna show you a project that I did where I installed one of these, and it solved some major headaches I was having. But you can use these even if you don't have built-in irrigation. You can use the DIY sprinkler that I built, and this can help you get the same type of advantages without a built-in system. Project started with this newly renovated bed. I added these flowers and shrubs and I was pretty excited about it and it was a lot of work. And I thought I was all set with the maintenance because I already had a sprinkler on the bed. But as I looked closer, I realized this little sprinkler couldn't reach hardly any of the plants. It was too low in the ground and it never could hit anything in the back at all. So I wanted to see what I could do to replace this with something that could reach all of the plants and water them evenly. If you've got in-ground sprinklers, you're gonna have something like this. This is a four inch in-ground model. Now they call it four inches because that's the distance that it pops out of the ground and extends to its maximum. Now this type of model is gonna work fine if you're just watering grass, but for our application and watering a bed, this is never gonna cut it. And this is more like it. You've probably never seen one of these. It's a 12 inch in-ground sprinkler. Now this is perfect for water in a bed because it's gonna allow the water to get to all the plants, including the ones in the far back. Now I'm gonna swap out my existing head and it's just gonna take me a few minutes. And like most sprinkler projects, we're gonna start by digging out the head so that we can get access to the line that feeds it. Your sprinkler line will just be a few inches under the ground, so how are you gonna connect this massive sprinkler without doing a lot more digging? Well, that's where you wanna get this exact model because it's got a side input and an input at the bottom of the sprinkler, but you're not gonna use the one at the base because that's way too far down. So you're gonna use the included cap and seal off the bottom because that side access port is exactly the same depth as your existing sprinkler line. So all we've gotta do is connect a barb fitting to it and I'll start by connecting a new piece of pipe to my brand new sprinkler. Now this is helpful because this will be a little bit easier done when I'm above ground. But as you can see, it's very hard to put this pipe in place and a much easier trick is to use a torch to warm up the tubing a bit. You don't melt the pipe or set it on fire. You're just trying to warm it up enough so it'll be soft enough so that when you press the fitting in, it'll go in a lot easier. So I'm going to begin to dig the hole, which is pretty easy because you're just going straight down. So I use the small trowel and I just kind of circle it around until I get a perfect little tunnel that I can sink the base of the sprinkler in. Then you just line up the two pipes, cut off the excess, and you can make your final connection. Now we can put our dirt back into the hole and cover up the hose. Now you want to make sure that everything gets filled with soil because you don't want that hose to be suspended in the air underground. And you also want to make sure that you're packing the dirt in tight and trying to keep the sprinkler head as level as possible. And my favorite part of using these heads is that they look just like any other until you turn them on. And of course they also solve the problem of watering your plants in the front and getting to the back. And even though these heads were cheap, they're super adjustable. You can swap them if you want to put a different type of nozzle on it, but even if you just use the one that they include, you can adjust it a number of ways. This thing can water completely around itself a full 360, or you can just turn it and you can actually tune it down to exactly what you want. So this is pretty cool. You can even water kind of a corner pattern and it works out great. But if you're spraying too much water or too little, you can just turn this flathead screw and you can control the amount of water coming out. And now that this thing is dialed in, I can sit back and this will water the plants in the bed as long as my sprinkler system is running. So it took me about a half an hour to swap this out, but it was well worth it because it'll be working for years to come. And this is my DIY sprinkler that I showed you in a previous video. Now, if you wanna build one of these, I've linked it in the description and it's really easy to do. And this thing is super useful. Now, unfortunately here, I'm using a rotary head that's perfect for grass, but it's not doing a very good job at all on this bed. And it's gonna keep blasting those flowers and probably cause some damage, but we can fix this really easily and use a giant sprinkler to solve this problem. And this has to be one of the coolest sprinklers I've ever worked with. It's inexpensive and it's totally adjustable. Now, most sprinklers can be adjusted in terms of how much water comes out, but this one goes even further. The simple design allows you to actually change the height of the sprinkler. So you just unscrew one thing, and now the sprinkler can be adjusted between 12 and 24 inches. Now this can work out so well if you've got a really difficult bed or a situation where you want to put down your water at an exact height. 
Another tip, when I'm putting in a new bed like this, I want these plants to stick around because I spend a lot of money. So I like to use this product for root development called Root Ruckus. Now this is a combination of sea kelp, humic acid, and a number of other enzymes and micronutrients that can really help your new plants thrive. And you can apply this using a garden sprayer, or in my case here, I'm just gonna use a simple watering can because it's easy and quick. Now I'm gonna mix up four ounces of the root ruckus with one gallon of water. And this is pretty much gonna be enough to do this bed and its matching bed on the other side of the stairs. And then just pour a little bit at the base of each of your plants. So when you choose one of these giant sprinkler heads, it really can make your life convenient, whether you're using a built-in irrigation system or you're using my DIY sprinkler base, and you can use it anywhere in your yard. Now this is a little bit of work, but it's gonna pay off in the long run because it'll do the watering for you and you don't have to hand water. And I hope you found this video helpful, showed you some sprinkler heads out there that you might not have even known existed because it can be a real problem solver. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.